Right, a video on pomegranates. I was at the local market, uh, just as everyone's kind of uh, finishing up for the day, and uh, the fruit and veg stall had uh, some things left, and what I did notice he had, because we're almost banging season now, uh, pomegranates. And because he wanted to sell them, and it was Friday, and he wasn't going to be able to sell them, uh, he wasn't going anywhere else, he sold them to me for cheap. So I got 25 pomegranates for £5, which works out at 20p a pomegranate. In the shops at the moment, they're like 75p, so good bargain. However, however, there's always there's always a little bit of a trade-off. Some of them are not in the best condition, like the the showing signs of a bit of bruising, and I, and I imagine that the seeds inside, um, some of them are going to be okay, but some of them might just be a little bit a little bit dodgy. So uh, I've never done the method before where you cut it in half and you hit it with the uh, with the with the rolling pin and or a spoon and knock out all the seeds. So I'm going to have a go at that. But the ones that are uh, just a little bit dodgy, a little bit dodgy, um, I wouldn't buy. I wouldn't have bought that in the shop. But it was what he had left and the cracking price. So uh, I kind of I kind of took the risk, hoping that most of the seeds in that one's going to be okay. So those I'm going to the ones that are looking a little bit ropey. I'm just going to pick through them just a little bit easier. Uh, I'm going to I. Wanted to have a go at making pomegranate molasses, so I'm not going to use all the pomegranates making pomegranate molasses because I think that would be a tremendous waste of all those lovely pomegranates. So I'm going to juice uh, all of it, uh, I'm going to, and I'm going to turn, turn some of that juice into pomegranate molasses and see how it works out, just as a bit of fun, uh, because there's no way I'm going to eat those that amount of pomegranates uh, in any kind of it'll take a month to eat all those pomegranates. And they certainly would have gone off. Um, but it's one of those things like fruit juices freeze really well. So I'm going to make it and I'm going to uh, freeze it. Um, actually, ground beans made out of um, pomegranate. So maybe, maybe once I've made the juice and frozen it, I might look into making some grenadine, uh, some homemade grenadine, grenadine, which can be added to cocktails, which is something we're always interested in. So that's it for now. We'll come back and we'll talk about uh, juice and that type of stuff later. Right. So I have uh, been through all the pomegranates and I have deceded them. Uh, de-seeded them yes um there's there's lots of the skin that was all waste but this is just the stuff that's just kind of unusable when i cut into one it was it was rotten all the way well there was a couple that were rotten all the way all uh, almost all the way through um so i've discarded those but the ones that were soft on the top um that were just a little bit uh, uh a little bit soft were just soft on the top they were actually underneath that they were all all the seeds were fine uh not that one obviously but uh i don't know there isn't any more tops in so that's just the waste um from 25 pomegranates and those are the seeds so there's about three kilos worth of seeds which i think's uh a good bargain that i think uh, i think five quid for uh three kilos of pomegranate seeds is really good now i'm going out so i'm not going to do anything with them today so i'm just going to cover them and put them in the fridge will be fine overnight i don't want to start doing something with them now and then kind of have to break off and go out. It's better to just sat as a, a seed overnight, and then and then I'm going to go out. Uh, you can freeze them at that stage. Um, I think more economical if you puree them um, and then juice them, uh, and then kind of uh, and then kind of get the seeds out. So you've just got the pure, pure juice, so you're actually freezing less. Um, I don't think uh, they're going to freeze particularly well if you wanted to use them in. Oh, not particularly good. Um, they're not going to be able to be. You, once you've frozen them, they're not going to be usable uh, in salads and things. They're going to they're going to break down uh, quite easily because they're mostly water. Uh, so they're not going to freeze uh, to be used whole, but they're certainly freeze to be used as a juice. And then I'm going to have a go at. Uh, I think I'm going to have a look into making some grenadine and potentially uh, reduce a bit of the juice down to make some pomegranate molasses. But that's it. I kind of think that's you just have to be careful with pomegranates. Um, don't kind of it's it's like if like get the seeds out of one and then add those seeds to uh, the good seeds if you start if you start trying to split the pomegranates down over uh, the nice seeds you're going to end up with the some of the bad seeds going in there so just uh, kind of prep pomegranate in, into a juice into a, a bowl and then transfer the good seeds into uh, the uh, container that's got all the good seeds in i could go through all these but i just i just worry that uh, there might just be a little bit um funny in flavour uh, if they've been a little bit too close to the bad so I'm not going to go through those anymore but still I think what three pomegranates bad ones out of about three bad ones out of um, 25 I think that's really good uh, so it certainly goes to show if you go to the market towards the end of the day when the, when the fruit and vegetables are wanting to get rid of things you certainly do get some good bargains and I would have I'd have been more annoyed they were originally three for three, uh, three for a pound 
and I would have been quite annoyed if I'd bought um, three and they'd all been a bit like that, but I bought 25 and three of them were only bad, so that's not that's not so bad at all. And so 60p I wasted, that's, not, that's pretty good. But anyway, that's it for now. So, um, pomegranate juice. So, um, pomegranates uh, give up their juice a lot easier than some other um, soft fruit. Or are they a fruit or are they a seed? I don't know. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, so they give up. All you have to really do with um, pomegranates is mash them up and all the juice will come out of them. Whereas some other fruits, it's a little bit more difficult to extract the uh, watery juice. Um, you can get the pulp out of them dead easy. But to actually uh, get the just the juice is kind of quite difficult from some fruits like uh, raspberries and blackberries. But pomegranates give up the juice quite easy. That sounds so wrong. So what we'll do is we'll blend and I'm just going to pass it through a, um, a metal sieve to start off with. I'm not sure, I haven't decided yet if it needs to go through a muslin cloth. So we'll extract the juice and then we'll have a look at the, let the juice settle because there'll be a little bit of sediment that goes through as well. We'll have a look at it and see if it clears up and we might just need to put it through some uh, muslin cloth. So hand blender because it's easy to wash and it's always it's always in the kitchen rather than having to get a big liquidizer out to do that, this kind of thing and then you go wash all the parts of the liquidizer whereas a hand blender dead easy it's got one part that you need to wash and that's it so juice away This is going to take a little bit longer than I thought um, because there's quite a lot of seeds in there uh, and you don't need to see me uh, puring it all so I'll stop and then we'll start when I've completely, completely pureed the lot. Right as you can see well you can't really but it is now uh, pureed so all seeds have been removed not removed but uh, separated from uh, the uh, juicy fruity on the outside. So we'll just uh, try not to make too much of a mess we're going to pour instead of faffing around with something else so we'll just pour through the sieve and then we'll collect the juice in a container underneath. We might need to do this in a few goes because it'll start getting clogged up with um, with seeds. So we'll pour it until it's sieves full and then we'll leave it to uh, pass through which is doing quite easily. You can see all the juice that's made out. Oh you can, yeah, yeah, you can see the juice underneath that's passing through. So we'll just leave that for a bit and then uh, and then and then put put more juice through uh, the sieve. We'll just let it uh, do it naturally. There's quite a lot coming out quite quickly. So it will, it's not going to take too long. So we'll leave it half an hour and then we'll pour the rest of the juice through and then we'll collect the juice and then we'll have a look at the juice, see what that's like. Oh, and I'll do a bit of research about making grenadine syrup and um, pomegranate and molasses. Uh, I kind of have a feeling uh, that you juice them and then just reduce the juice down. But I kind of think there's probably, a, maybe you're leaving some of the seeds in the pomegranates uh, you might get some pectin out of the seeds and it might thicken up uh, quicker than actually reducing it all down. But we'll see, we'll, I'll, I'll have a look around and uh, do a bit of research and we'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it.